Good morning, everybody. The intention of the Mass is for Mary and John Brennan. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, O God, creator and redeemer of human nature, who will that your word should take flesh in an ever-virgin womb, look with favor on our prayers that your only begotten Son, having taken to himself our humanity, may be, may be pleased to grant us a share in his divinity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob called his sons and said, Gather round, sons of Jacob, and listen. Listen to Israel, your father. Judah, your brothers, shall praise you. You grip your enemies by the neck. Your father's sons shall do you homage. Judah is a lion cub. You climb back, my sons, from your kill. Like a lion, he crouches and lies down. Or a lioness, who dares to rouse him? The scepter shall not pass from Judah, nor the mace from between his feet, until he comes to whom it belongs, to whom the people shall render obedience. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm. In his days, justice shall flourish, and peace till the moon fails. O God, give your judgment to the king, to a king's son your justice, that he may judge your people in justice and your poor in right judgment. In his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. May the mountains bring forth peace for the people and the hills justice. May he defend the poor of the people and save the children of the needy. In his days, justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. In his days, justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. He shall rule from sea to sea, from the great rivers to the earth's bounds. In his days, justice will flourish and peace till the moon fails. May his name be blessed forever and endure like the sun Every tribe shall be blessed in him. All nations bless his name. In his days, justice will flourish and peace till the moon fails. Please stand to greet the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom of the Most High, ordering all things with strength and gentleness. Come and teach us the way of truth. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. A genealogy of Jesus Christ, son of David, son of Abraham. Abraham was the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah was the father of Perez 
and Zerah, Tamar being their mother. Perez was the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ram. Ram was the father of Abinadab, Abinadab the father of Nashon, Nashon the father of Salmon, Salmon was the father of Boaz, Rahab being their, his mother. Boaz was the father of Obed, Ruth being his mother. Obed was the father of Jesse, and Jesse was the father of King David. David was the father of Solomon, whose mother had been Uriah's wife. Solomon was the father of Rehoboam. Rehoboam, the father of Abijah. Abijah, the father of Asa. Asa was the father of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat, the father of Joram. Joram, the father of Azariah. Azariah was the father of Jotam. Jotam was the father of Ahaz. Ahaz, the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah was the father of Manasseh, Manasseh, the father of Amon, Amon, the father of Josiah. Josiah was the father of Jeconiah and his brothers. Then the deportation to Babylon took place. After the deportation to Babylon, Jeconiah was the father of Sheatiel, Sheatiel, the father of Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel was the father of Abiu, Dabiu, the father of Eliakim, Eliakim, the father of Azor, Azor was the father of Zadok, Zadok, the father of Akim. Akim, the father of Eliud, Eliud, the father of Eleazar, Eleazar, the father of Matan, Matan, the father of Jacob, Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of how was born Jesus, who is called Christ. The sum of generations is therefore 14 from Abraham to David, 14 from David to Babylonian deportation, and 14 from the Babylonian deportation to Christ. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we have perhaps the strangest gospel reading of the whole liturgical year. We might ask, why did evangelist Matthew bother with that long list of 42 names? But it was clearly important to communicate some sense of Jesus' family tree. There is an understandable interest in learning about our family tree. Most people want to know their genetic background. Who are the people who have helped to make me who I am? We know that the story of our ancestors is an important part of our own story. It is that part of our story which is below ground, like the roots of a tree. Matthew was very aware that the story of Jesus' ancestors was an important chapter in Jesus' own story. Jesus had parents grandparents, great-grandparents, some of the people that Matthew mentions as part of Jesus' family tree were anything but saints. All shades of human nature were to be found there. Yet God brought the Savior of the world out of that very imperfect succession of people. There is hope in that realization, especially in these difficult days of the church. But God is always at work in us, even in situations that seem on the surface to be very unpromising. Let us pray. Lord God, we thank you for our families and those who have gone before us through the centuries. Help us fully to appreciate and live out the gift of our inheritance as Christians and as your sons and daughters. Lord, hear us. We ask our lady to intercede for us as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Sanctify these gifts of your church, O Lord, and grant that through these venerable mysteries we may be nourished with the bread of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. <clears throat> it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son and the highest. Blessed is he, O Son and the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending thine spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may marry to the cause to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Nourished by these divine gifts, Almighty God, we ask you to grant our desire that aflame with your spirit we may shine like bright torches before your Christ when he comes, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended.